The Big House is one of Melee's most storied tournaments that has grown tremendously throughout these last seven years. So with the event less than a month out, I thought we'd take a look at the history of the event. This video is actually the first in a two-part series on the history of the Big House where this video will focus more on the numbers and next week's video will talk about storylines. So first off, let's look at the most obvious metric that would show growth, number of attendees. As for the first three events, the jumps between them weren't too drastic. The biggest was from 2 to 3, which is also when the event moved off of the University of Michigan's campus and to the Ann Arbor Hilton. After the Big House 3, the entrance skyrocketed as the event grew into one of the cornerstones of competitive melee tournaments. This can be seen with the dramatic jumps of attendees after the Big House 3, where the event grew quicker than Jungle Guy could ever imagine. Something not completely relevant, but still interesting to note, is that wobbling was actually banned at the Big House all the way until the Big House 5. But back to showing the rise of importance of the event in the competitive melee psyche, let's look at how many of the year's top 20 players attended each big house. So 2013 was the first year that there were melee at army rankings, so let's start there. This big house only had 172 melee players in attendance, but it was already picking up steam with 25% of the top 20 being in attendance, with number 1 and 2 in the world, Mango and Armada respectively, being notably absent. This jumps significantly next year with PPMD and Fly Amonita being the only two top 10 members not in attendance. One more member of the top 10 was missing the following year, but there's still slightly more top 20 in attendance. Which leads us to last year's Big House 6, where every single member of the top 20 was there. In descending order, Amza at rank 32 is actually the first player that was not at the Big House 6, which gives credence to just how important of an event it has grown to be. Now that we've created a fuller picture about the importance of the Big House, let's shift gears a bit and talk about various players' placings over multiple Big Houses. First, let's look at the current top 6 and see how they fared over the years. Here are some interesting facts that can be drawn from this wealth of information. All of these players have had their best big house placings at the first event they attended. Hungrybox is the only active god to not have won a big house. The grand finals has always been between two gods since the big house 2, and has always been different combinations, with Armada and Mewtwo King being the only combination that hasn't occurred yet. Mewtwo King has done progressively worse at every single big house. And lastly, all of the players' placings at the big house 6 coincide with their average overall placing rank across all events. While on the subject of placing consistency, let's take a step back from the top 6 to see who is the most consistent player at the Big House who has been to at least 5 of the 6 events. Esfet, who has been at the event since the beginning, clearly takes this crown by only finishing outside the top 8 twice at the Big House. Then there's a clear gap, and then Kirby Kaze, Duck, and Nintendo, who are all hovering around the same general area of average placings. And before we wrap up this video, let's take a look at some of the outlier placings that have shook up the Big House over the years. Arguably the most notable one is Hungrybox's 9th place finish at the Big House 4, which is his lowest placing since 2007 at Duda 3. At the Big House 5, we had a bait giving one of the best Luigi performances of all time, taking out Axe, S2J and Duck on his way to a 7th place finish. And last year we had Ice outplacing both Mewtwo King and Hungrybox while taking a game off Armada to finish at 3rd place. And that about wraps up our first half of the history of the Big House. If this has gotten you inspired to make it out to the Big House this year, click the link at the top of the description where you can still register as a competitor all the way up until September 17th. But if that's already passed, or you just want to experience the atmosphere of the event as a spectator, spectator registration is available online until the weekend of the event, October 6th to October 8th. And yeah, this may seem like a little early with the Big House being a little under a month out, but uh, I'm super happy to say that the Big House is the first major that I'm ever going to go to. And I've only been to a couple of Smash Bros. tournaments, so I'm really excited to go there. And if any of you guys see me come up and say hi, I don't know anyone in Michigan and I only know a few people are also going, so I'll need people to talk to or like body me and friendlies. So if you see me there and I'll probably like post a picture of myself, something on my Twitter before I go, give you another reason to uh, stalk me over on Twitter so people actually know what I look like because my voice is... It's, it's high on the videos, but I think it's, it's a little bit deeper. It's probably a little bit deeper than normal now because I'm still like nasally and sick. But yeah, I'm like so excited to go out to the big house. I, I really want to I want to cover this as fully as possible. And I wanted to do like these history ones leading up to it alongside the normal who the look out for the big house just so I can have like a full coverage of this event. I just want to show not only to myself and to you guys, I want to show like prospective people who would maybe be able to get me into events in the future that if you send me to an event, I want to put my heart and soul into covering it in the fullest way possible. 
So yeah, Ivan Saves Untitled. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me about any um, events or placings or rankings or storylines from the last couple of years of The Big House you'd want me to highlight in the next video, something that's important to you. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.